Hello, everyone. We're Team Cover. Uh, our final project uh, is a uh, network attack defense system with NetApp PGA. The scenario can be simplified like this. We we'll assume that uh, this host is making DDoS attacks to the server. And our goal is that the server would be able to send a command to the NetApp PGA. So NetApp PGA would either set the packet of its accelerator, which is a pattern matcher, and uh, to check for a specific uh, uh, to check for packet with specific pattern and the drop if necessary. Or it could also send a drop command so that the NetAppG's CPU will actually check the packet and uh, to drop the packet if necessary. And uh, here is our system architecture. Basically, we have two. Uh, we have a dual-core multi-thread uh, processor, and uh, each core uh, is associated with a FIFO and a pattern matcher. When the packet comes, an uh, input arbiter will determine where the packet will, will go. Uh, the pattern matcher will check the payload for a specific pattern and uh, drop the packet if there is a match. Here is uh, it will send a signal to the FIFO if there is a match. Uh, CPU will be able to set a pattern of the pattern matcher. And uh, CPU would also uh, be able to uh, tell the FIFO to drop the packet if uh, it find that it is necessary to do so. And uh, we first make a simple test of our system. Uh, thread 0 will run a program like this. First, it will wait until a packet is received by the FIFO and then it will wake up thread 1. After that, we, it will check the packet to see whether it is a set command. If it is a set command, it will set the pattern of the pattern matcher and restart. And uh, if it is not a set command, it will then check, the, uh, check a specific flag to see whether it needs to drop the packet. Uh, if, uh, it, if it is necessary to drop, it will drop and restart. If it would if it uh, does not have to drop, it will send out the packet and restart. And the thread 1 will run a program like this. It will sleep until thread 0 wake it up. And uh, it will, then it will check whether it is a drop command. If uh, it is a drop command, then uh, it will set a flag, which is uh, this flag, and uh, restart. If it's not, and it will uh, sleep again. And uh, here is uh, the first one is uh, what a set command looks like. Uh, it has uh, six A's and started uh, uh, preceded by four F. Uh, this is uh, it will have th this this word as a flag. Uh, it is the it should be located at the eleventh word of the packet. And uh, so our CPU could actually check the eleventh location of the packet and uh, to compare it with uh, this flag. Uh, if they are identical, then the CPU will read the next word and uh, make it uh, the pattern. And uh, here the second one is what a uh, job uh, what a job command looks like. So it's uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. So in the same way, CPU will check it and uh, it will set the flag and drop all the packet. If uh, they are, uh, if it is a job command, and then we'll make a simple test uh, on the we'll make a test on our system, and uh, here is the scenario. Uh, the uh, all the four nodes are connected to the NetApp PGA, and uh, N one will be active uh, like a server, and uh, we actually has everything running right now. And uh, on the N1 node, it actually has a email like AppRF uh, server running on it. And now we begin to load our B file, run the RKB. And uh, to compile and uh, load our program in it and some initialization to the data memory. 
Now we are ready to go. Uh, we let N0 pin N1 with the specific pattern. And we see that it, it could actually pin through. And on N1, we can run a TCP dump to see the packet payload. And uh, the pattern is exactly like what we said. And then now, uh, for, uh, for right now, the CPU has not set any pattern. So initialize the pattern would be like this. So there is nothing, there is no match, and uh, the packet can actually go through. And now we will set the pattern. We'll send the set command. So N2 will do this job. Oh, sorry. And two will set the pattern. And here is the pattern. Six A means uh, is the flag, and followed by the pattern. And now we should see the pattern is set. Here the pattern is changed to this one. And after the pattern is set, any packet sent with this pattern could not pin through. So this is the pattern and uh, all the packets are dropped. Uh, but although they are dropped, if uh, we pinned by another without this pattern, uh, the packet can actually go through. And also, anyway, it's, up, uh, it's the same. So here, the, our first test is done.